Cooking with Kimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to make tulip water. So on my property I try and grow everything edible. If it's not working for me I'm not working for it and if you don't know a many flowers and other plants not just vegetables and fruits are actually edible and tulips are one of them the petals in the spring are so beautiful and i just wait until they just start to wilt to to pick them and then i dry them like this or that's for tea or for waters like this or you can pick them fresh and use them in salads or little cups for salads or little appetizers they're beautiful um, they have a lettucey sort of flavor um, some places in the world they use it for strength, some people you can use it for insect bites and rashes and things of that nature as a poultice. People use the um, pink and the red ones for blush, you can use that. And you can use the juice in hand cream which works very nicely and it, it smells nice as well. Very springy. Since it's getting nice and warm out we need to hydrate ourselves but you need to hydrate yourself all the time so you can do this in winter as well so i like to make this water and keep it in the refrigerator not only does it keep it longer but i can choose whether i want to have it cold or i can heat it up in a cup for night times that are maybe a little bit chilly today i'm doing a healthy and nutritious and a beautiful flavored water with my tulips i have the dried one so we're gonna let this soak for a little while and i'm probably going to use a good gosh couple handfuls, let's say, two good handfuls at least, of the dried petals. And I'm going to top that up with water. You can add other flowers as well, other flowers like fuchsia or petunia, pansies, provided they don't have chemicals on them, you don't spray them, you didn't buy them from somewhere you're not sure about, um, then you're good to go if you grow them in your own garden. A lot of flowers are not only beautiful, but they're tasty as well. Rose petals are wonderful, lavender is wonderful. So as this sits, it's going to extract some nutrients and a lot of beautiful flavor. If you smell these beautiful petals that I have dried, they smell like an herbal tea or a teasane. Here we go, that's what they look like. Aren't they beautiful when they're dried? They don't turn brown. They can retain that gorgeous color. And I have some lovely yellow ones with stripes and all kinds of them. And I keep them like this dried for such a time as this. Now, when I take the petals off, I like to remove the stamens. The stamens are what has the, the pollen on and they are kind of a little bit bitter, more astringent, especially when it's fresh. So I do take those out. Uh, before I dry them. So here's my yellow ones with the stripes. They're really, really beautiful. You could also drop these in your bath water. That's wonderful. And it'll also help with any kind of insect bites or rashes you have as well. So let's finish filling this up with water. And we're going to let this sit for about 15 or 20 minutes while I'm getting dinner ready. And I might even go ahead and add the extra handful. Beautiful. This is lovely for a dinner party to just give that je ne sais quoi, a little something different. Or you can just use this every day after your fitness routine or after you garden or after you're doing anything strenuous. It's also lovely in the morning. You can use it as a pick-me-up, as a tea or a beautiful glass of hydration as soon as you get up. Awesome. If you wanted to sweeten it, you could use honey or agave nectar. You could use a pure cane sugar if you want it. You could also add other flavorings. You could add citrus leaves or actual citrus or ginger or lemongrass or lavender, anything, anything you like. So we'll see you in about 15 or 20 minutes and we'll have a nice glass. All right, I've given this a stir. It's been sitting for about 15 or 20 minutes and it's a beautiful red color. Now, depending upon the color of tulips you use is going to depend on the color of your beverage. So this is what I have going on. Look at that gorgeous ruby color. And let's have a glass. So in essence, this is one of those vitamin waters. <laughs> and you can garnish with a beautiful fresh petal. What a beautiful low calorie alternative that's healthy and delicious. Let's taste. Mm. So it's really zipped up your water. It has a little bit of a floral flavor, a little bit of a vegetal floral flavor, but it's beautiful. Not only that, it has a gorgeous color. Now, if you wanted to, you could use this and freeze ice cubes with it and put little pieces of the tulip inside of there and serve it that way. 
that would be really gorgeous as well. And that's how you do it. That's how you make tulip water. You can do it too. This show is brought to you by Nixec.com. Nixec is a smart currency that allows borderless payments. Its price and stability has been proven over the last year. It's secure, reliable, and safe for investment. You can sign up at nixec.com. That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. Check out my Instagram.com slash web chef of all trades. You can find my shows on youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly and come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.